Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're jumping into the PS3 classic known as GTA Club Plus Rally Cote d'Azur. I think it's Rally. I don't know why I said Rally. I guess because I'm in like La France mode because Cote d'Azur. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. Um, but this is a game that started as an arcade game. Had a pretty interesting cabinet from what I heard. It even had a uh, sort of e-brake in the cabinet because you're racing these sort of like European race mini cars, and you could pull the e-brake to navigate like turns and stuff, which I think is actually pretty cool. I kind of wish uh, I, I had ever seen this cabinet. I don't think I ever have. Um, but I think today we've got a demo of this game. Now, this game is actually rather interesting. It was a downloadable only title on the ps3 and it's no longer available due to licensing issues and so like even to get the demo um you have to do some things to your ps3 that might void the warranty i won't say what but it's it is sad that you literally have to resort to like you know uh piracy i guess in order to play a game and that is in the book, A Thousand One Video Games. Just play for it. I mean, what else are you supposed to do? You know, we do as the book commands. Um, but I will say it's, it, it, it does highlight an issue that I have mentioned many times in this channel, which is that, you know, you look back, what is happening to these cars? They're passing bombs to each other. This game looks really interesting. I hope the demo actually has a lot to play. Oh, man, there's like huge jumps and stuff. Like, I'm kind of excited to play this. I'm sad we only have the demo. Um, but this does highlight an issue I've, I've brought up many times, which is that... I really do feel like you look at the, the classic, everything up to like PS1 and stuff, and like hackers and pirates successfully pirated pretty much every game uh, in existence for those old systems, and think what you want about piracy, but at least they preserve the games. You know, you look at the games nowadays, so many games are downloadable only, and uh, you know, the companies go out of business, or they let the license expire, and then the games get pulled from the e-store. I'm like, that's it. You're never going to see the game again. It's just gone to history. So, I don't know, I, I, it feels a little not right that that's allowed to happen. There, there should be some obligatory preservation of these games, but uh, maybe I'm just an old idiot, <laughs> for lack of a better word, with his uh, old school ideas. I don't know. But anyway, let's give this one a shot here today. It does look pretty cool, where you're sort of like racing all over the place. There's jumps, there's trains, you can pass bombs to each other, all sorts of stuff. So I don't know how much of this we're going to get to see, but we'll start with a good old easy race. And from what I've read, this is a little bit of an open world racer where like you're racing to a destination, but you can take multiple routes and stuff. You have to avoid civilian traffic, which is kind of cool. Um, our only color options, by the way, are default. So that's what we'll do. Uh, and we're totally going automatic. To this day, I don't know how to drive a manual car. Never learned. I know it has something to do with the clutch and then the gears. I used to watch my grandma do it all the time. She had a little uh, manual car when we were kids and drove us around. But uh, me, I... It's its beyond me, guys. It's beyond me. I know like eight programming languages have developed like VR software and stuff. And I'm not just making that up. I actually have done these things. Uh, can't figure out how to drive a manual car. Wee! Oh, man, this is actually pretty fun. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap, I almost hit the bridge. Oh, man. So, truth be told, when I sat down today, and I looked at the games, or the game that I was going to play, and I saw, oh my, okay, we're playing another racing game on the PS3. Um, I was like, alright, well, I was preparing myself for another, whoa, whoa sorry civilians. Um, I was preparing myself for another, you know, like, uh, sort of typical racing game, I guess you would say. You know, we've played, like, many racers over the years on the Xbox 360 and PS3, and, you know, they all have their own little quirks and uniquenesses. Um, but literally after I saw a little bit of gameplay footage of this, I was like, oh, this is actually going to be, oh God, what is the handbrake button? Hold on. Is there a way to find that out? Because I really need to, I need to know what the controls are. Um, oh, by the way, you can also, uh, do a motion controller. Uh, you can use the six axis of the, the controller if you want to steer. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll try that at some point. Um, okay. The, oh, well, that's easy. So right trigger is accelerate, left trigger is handbrake. Is there anything else necessary? Gear up, gear down, don't matter for me. 
Um. All right, that seems pretty basic. I probably I, sh I should have been able to figure that out on my own. It's embarrassing that I didn't. Um, but anyway, this game, you know, when I saw a bit of gameplay footage, it looked like more arcadey, more action-paced than some of the other more, like, hyper-realistic simulator racers out there. And honestly, I think what I've come to learn about myself... Oh, man, I'm in the bushes. Wait, did I just do a shortcut? Was that a good thing? Oh, cool. Um, I think what I've come to learn about myself is, like, I don't dislike racing games in the slightest. There's many racers. I mean, I would consider, uh... Fatal Racing to be one of my favorite games of all time, but I think what I'm not super interested in It even has nothing to do with racing. It's just simulator games in general I think like through this thousand and one quest something I've learned about myself You know the ostensibly this this quest is about trying a thousand and one games, but really it's about learning Learning who's in here guys, you know learning a little bit more about like who this fella is that I spend every day with um, but what I have what I have learned about this fella, about myself, is that uh, I'm just not huge into simulators, I think. Um, and so, I like racing games that are uh, fan fantastical, you know, that include, like, weapons, unbelievable jumps, uh, insane courses, um, just all sorts of, like, reality-defining things. Or they're not even, like, reality defying it's it's just things that are just like on the edge of like what would actually be physically possible so like even this game right like it's pretty realistic but it is a little arcadey a little fantastical and i kind of dig that about it i don't know like fatal racing didn't have items and stuff it was just cars racing around uh but doing like big jumps and stuff like that like i love it when you go over a big hill and your car just like gets air like that's just fun to me i don't know um so, you know, it's like, and again, it's nothing to do with racing. It's like many games that are simulators, like flying games and all that stuff. It's like, I'm just a little less interested in the simulators. And I'm more interested when they're sort of like, they throw out the rules of reality and they just make it like as crazy as possible. Um, anyway, we're getting the obligatory ad here because this is a demo telling us to get more cars, get more stuff. Um, can we do anything else? Wait, is that it? Is that the only thing we're allowed to do? Can we do a medium? How about a free run? Let's try a medium race. Not available to the demo. Oh, no! Not, I'm so sad! I'm so sad! The one time we're playing a racing game where I legit, like, really, really am curious to try more modes and stuff. And I don't think we can! I think we have this one race, and this is it! We can't even change the color! Oh, the only exciting thing we could do is shift between automatic and manual. Oh, man. And you know what? You can't even buy this game. There's no one you can give money to to get a hold of this game. It's just impossible. So we're just here on this, like, one little, uh... One little field here. See if we can do a little bit better the second time around. I am kind of curious, though, about this six-axis control scheme. So I'm going to turn it on. It's probably a terrible idea today. But, yeah, there we go. All right. Let's go for it, man. Okay. And here we go. Oh, wait, it's not It's not doing it. Hold on. Oh, God. Well, I thought I selected it. Did I not select it? Motion. Uh, oh, I have to click select. Okay. Um, I like how the horn and the lights are very accessible in this mode. All right, we got it. Six axis. Here we come. All right. Oh, God. All right. We've given up the precision of a thumbstick, and now we have motion controls. <laughs> Maybe I'll do better. Who knows? Um, I feel like motion controls are one of those technologies that, like, just never really fulfilled the promise you know, like, I don't know, I, I feel like there's a handful of gaming and even other technologies that it's like everyone wants and we dabble with once in a while, once a generation, and then we kind of give up on it. Like, everyone was nuts about motion controls when the Wii came out, to the point where, like, Xbox had the Kinect and PS3 had the 6-axis. I feel like everyone's kind of like, eh, like, everyone's, like, over motion controls. They're just kind of like, I don't know if they're, they're ever going to come back in the way they did when the Wii was big. Um... And then you have, oh god, 
Then you have like uh, like VR, you know, like when when the Oculus Rift was first announced, people were like, "Whoa, VR!" And like PlayStation made the PS VR, and everyone's like excited about VR and 3D, 3D TVs. Everything's in 3D now. All your movies are in 3D. Now no one cares, you know. Like it, it's just it it comes and goes. It seems. Um, like what else is there? So it's like motion controls, 3D. I guess flying cars is like a long-standing one. Everyone always wants flying cars, but like that's never gonna happen. Um, I feel like voice assistant controls, like voice controls for a computer. You know, like we do have those things now, but they never work very well. I have a Google Home and an Alexa, and I'm always yelling at them, trying to get them to like actually do the thing that I told them to do. Um, we're like wrestling for fourth. With this bastard! Oh God! Go! 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 Man, my e-brake turns suck. Oh, I'm all over the road. Wow. Um, oh, we. But yeah, it sort of feels like motion controls. I don't know. I mean, I've I've ranted and raved about uh, how I'm not a fan of them before. So you guys clearly know my stance. But uh, oh god, like maybe it's just because I was never raised with them, so I'm bad at them. Maybe one day we'll raise a generation of humans who don't know an analog stick and only know motion controls, and they'll be like gods. You know, they'll, like, shatter every, like, gaming speedrun record and stuff because it's, like, motion controls are superior. Well, wait, what? My guy just gave up mid-race. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, well, the motion controls suck. And... Oh, God, this sucks. I... I want to play more. I I'm sad that, uh, I'm limited by the demo here. Okay, I'm gonna take a journey, guys. To the darkest corners of the web that I know about. And I'm gonna see what I can do about this. Alright! This is just gonna be our little secret, guys. I'm back! I think I found the full version of the game. I'm not gonna say how I did it or where I went. But, uh... I mean, I couldn't even buy the game. What do you expect? What do you expect, Konami? Sell me the game, I totally would've paid for this. Anyway, all right, back to GT, GTI Club. Um, let's go ahead and see. Actually, I actually haven't tested this, uh, but let's see if we can actually race on more tracks because I would love to see more of this game. All right, here we go into the world of single player. Let's try a medium race. Oh, it worked! It worked! <laughs> We're living in the legal gray area of gaming, whatever, I don't regret anything. Alright, ooh, look at this car! This one's nice and fancy, the Lancia Delta. Gonna go ahead and give it a shot here. And, uh, we tried the six-axis motion controls, it really wasn't for me, so I'm just gonna stick with, uh, analog controls. Going forward here. Um, so I guess... There aren't, like, different courses or anything like that. I guess it's just sort of, like, easy, medium, and hard. And maybe you race in, like, different parts of the city. Whee! <laughs> See, I love those, like, big jumps and stuff that you can do. Oh, man. Oh, God, there's buses. All right, so as the game gets harder... Oh, my God, there's more traffic. This is great. This kind of reminds me a bit of Burnout. Um, only a little less destructive. Oh, God, okay, I wanted to turn around... It seemed like I could do that. Oh god! Oh, I thought I could go down there, but I guess I can't either. Okay, I'm this. Is, I, I'm just learning the route here. Wee! That jump is really fun. Um, oh, there's an extra little thing down there to the left that you can like dive down. Okay, there's all these like little uh, little alleyways and stuff you can turn down. I want to explore more of this city. Whoa! Wee! Oh, I thought it was gonna be a big jump. This one seems to be. Um, oh, there's, like, a way to dive down there. Wow, there's so many different paths! We're seventh. Oh, we went right through a bus. We phased through it. We're eighth. Alright, I'm going to- oh god, out of the way. I, can, I, I think maybe... We'll try this again on easy, now that I have the, like, uh, full version here. And we'll see if we can make any more progress. Here's a fun fact about this game, uh, back when it was out and you could purchase it. Um, actually, I wonder how much this game sold for. Kind of curious about that, too, uh, actually. This, uh, I originally thought this was like a big full, full-size game or whatever, but I think actually now it feels more like a mini PSN game, so like, I would say like 
10 bucks maybe, 15 at the most would be what I think this game would be worth. Oh god, especially if you only have this one course. Like, it's cool and everything. It's a cool game, but, uh... Um, it... Oh god, time extended. Oh, where do I go? <laughs> am I even going the right way? Where am I? What's happening? Whoa, I found a huge secret in there. Didn't help my placement at all. Um... And I just ran out of time. Oh, time extended. Yeah, so this is really definitely like an arcade game that was ported. I mean, that's that's what I said at the beginning of today, that this was uh, an arcade game. Because um, you do have time and you run out of time. But uh, another fun thing about this game is it actually used the PlayStation Eye. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it's sort of like Sony's Kinect. It wasn't very popular, actually. But it was basically like a webcam that you put up and you could actually see yourself while you race, which is kind of boring. I, I mean, just get a mirror if that's your thing. Um, but the cool thing is when you're racing online against other people, um, we're going to try... I'm going to go back to easy and give that a shot. When you're racing online against other people, you could actually um, see everyone you were racing against and just talk to them, uh, which is actually kind of cool. Um... I don't know if I would have liked to do it, to be totally honest. Like, I'm kind of camera shy. But... Kind of a neat idea. I haven't heard of too many games that did that. Uh, so we can go in and we can, like... Can we modify these? Load or save a theme. Decals. Oh, you can put, like, stickers or something? On your car? What the... <laughs> uh, that's funny. Sure. Okay. So we, you get to put one sticker on a car and that's it. Changes. Okay, forget about this. We don't need to do this. Um, all right, well. Select level of difficulty. Let's try a free run. What is this? I guess it's just sort of like you get to race through the city Select and like explore it on your own. Hmm. I'm uh, honestly a tad disappointed that there weren't more tracks. All the trouble I went through to go online and, uh, you know, uh, find this game, and it's just the same track. Whee! Like, definitely this one track feels like a good demo track, but I'm kind of like, where are the other? Where are all the other great tracks that you guys surely must have thought about designing for this game? Is it really only the one track? Huh. I've never simultaneously been so impressed by a racing game and also disappointed like i have to say like again the the physics of this game and the feel of it it all feels very fun i, I like it i want to i want to do more of it but there's only really the one course like that what this game needed is like more courses it needed uh you know like a, a campaign that you work through and like different kinds of races like one-on-one -on -one races battle modes and then like big tournament races like go the full uh burnout uh route and like really sort of give you a bunch of racing variety like the the game and the the engine here that's powering the racing is smooth i really like it hey let's just this is free exploring let's just see what's going on over here hey it's a parking lot this is where, uh, this is where you can bring your teenager if you want to teach them how to play this game. Hands at 10 and 2. This is how you park. There we go. Parked. We've, we've officially parked in a racing game. That's the, the excitement that you guys signed up for here today. So free mode, I guess, is a way to just sort of explore the city. So I guess the, the thing about this game... Uh, was the fun... Fun multiplayer. Okay, let's try one race on easy. Now that I understand what we're doing here. And then we'll try one on hard. And that'll be that. So you know what's, you know what's actually like really sad? Is like honestly the demo would have done this game total justice. I thought we were missing out on all these tracks. All these cars. If I only played the demo I felt like I'd be doing a half assed job on this game. Turns out that wasn't the case. Demo would have been just fine. But you know what? As I said, I got no regrets. All right, here it is. Oh God. We're racing for all the marbles. Oh my God, and I'm racing so horribly too. Okay, let's see if we can pull this out. 
to make something happen here. Yeah! Oh god, all over the road. Oh, some of these paths are crap blocked off on the easy mode. Oh, get out of the way. I think I was honking his horn at me. So I guess in the the harder modes, the the city is more open to uh, different paths. In the easier modes, it's less open, it seems. Oh, that was a sweet e-break. Turn, oh yeah, time extended, all right. Muscling our way into third, even though we've raced horribly, we still have a decent shot of getting into the top three. Oh God, this guy's ruining me. Get out of here, dude. Nice to have a rival though, actually. He made life interesting. Oh God, and right into the wall. Okay, here's the third place guy. Oh god. Every time I see this cave, I aim for it, but it's always the wrong way to go. Like, all my- all my racing instincts are wrong. Shockingly. Oh yeah, there's a knee break turn for ya. Come on, we- we haven't been able to get third this whole time, the guys are right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that- that final turn there is where we really make up all of our time. Final lap, alright. Ooh, that was a nice turn, too. Oh god, that turns hard. Well, the second place guy's right there. Feeling fairly confident about our chances of passing this guy, and then it's just... between us and first. Damn it, that cave gets me every time! Every time, out of here, second place guy! Wow, we legit passed him. Okay, where's that first place bastard? Coming for you, bro. Where are ya? Actually getting the hang of e-brake turns. Yeah, that was a that was a cowboy's gung-ho thing there. Oh no! Cowboys jump. No, first place! Oh, so close. I like how they yell goal like it's a soccer goal. Second. It is uh, not bad for like my third or fourth time racing. I think. Hey, we even earned a trophy. Alright, continue. Our name of nothing. <laughs> but it may or may not be because I had to download this game. Anyway, nobody tell Sony or Konami, please. Guys, this is just between us today. We gotta keep this Let's Play on the DL. Alright, we're gonna go for one hard race, and I guess we will wrap up over this challenge. I, I really like this uh, yellow car, actually. I can't tell if the cars have any stats or anything. But, uh, wait, what does change car pack mean? Ooh. What else we got? Oh, it's just the two options. Okay, well, let's race one of these guys. This looks like, <laughs> like a Toyota Prius. <laughs> like, it's like a hatchback. Why are all the, uh, European race cars... Why are they sort of like hatchbacky, kind of like sedans? You know, like, and you look at American race cars, they're sort of like NASCAR or Formula One style things. How come it's all like mini cars in Europe? Is it just because like cars in general in Europe? Wait, what is happening? Oh God, wait, what was that? Everyone turned around at the beginning, guys. Did I miss the memo? <laughs> the hell was that? Oh my God, this hard race, you have to race it backwards. I'm not prepared for this at all. Oh god, this is confusing. This is warping my brain. It's the same course we did, but just backwards. It's very confusing. Oh my god, I'm not gonna know where any of the shortcuts are. Oh, but we are... thought we were like second for a bit. Briefly. Oh god, where am I supposed to go? Oh, those guys are hitting buses and stuff. Hard not just for me, but for the computer too. Oh, look, there's like a nice restaurant. Oh, we could have driven through all those tables, you jerk. You jerk, you're ruining both of us. Get out of the way. Stop grinding paint with me, bro. Okay. Oh, God. Blind quarters. Five laps remaining. Well, from the in the first lap, we went from first to eighth. So this is not bode well for the remaining laps. Damn, we're just ping-ponging all over the place. All right, is this a shortcut? This is a shortcut of some kind. My time got extended. I'm totally gonna run out of time on this. Totally gonna run out of time. Whoa! 
Yeah, it really does feel like an arcade game with like the announcer and like all the stuff that's uh, going on. What the heck? I just ran out of time. Game over. <laughs> all right, we can't end there. I'll do I'll do one more on medium, I guess. Give that one a shot. I like how it shows you an overhead map of all the places you could have gone and like shows the route that you took. All right, one more medium difficulty Select race. Level of difficulty. So I suppose like the real selling point of this was its multiplayer. This must have been like a fun little multiplayer game that everyone played on Select PSN. Again, I don't really know much about it. I never heard of this. Um, it's one of the games that was included in the book. I took a look at what the book said and it was saying like, it's a fun little arcade racer. It's a remake of an arcade game. You know, it contains, uh, um, okay. I thought everyone was going to turn around again. Um, it, it, you know, it was a big multiplayer game, this and that. So we, oh God, we all hit that bus. Okay, into fifth. Wait, how am I? That's a seventh place guy passing me if I'm fifth. Makes sense. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the dudes in front of me. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna dive down here. I think this will help me. And up here. Oh, God. Did that help? Didn't seem like it actually saved me any time. I think it skipped that uh, tunnel that always confuses me, though, so that's kind of a plus. Man, if I was racing this for real, I'd be terrified. We're going, like, really fast on, like, busy roads here. Wait, hold on. I'm sixth, but where is everybody else? Wait, I'm fourth now? Wait, I, I didn't see anyone. How did we pass people? Where, where is people? All the other cars have turned invisible on me. Or they're just so far ahead. Oh wait, where'd that guy come from? Wait, where's he going? Oh crap, oh crap, whoa! I'm uh, third? What's happening? How am I passing people that I can't even see? This is crazy. It must be the alternate routes. Everyone's like on all these alternate routes, like off the beaten path, and it turns out that somehow the path I'm on is like reasonable or something. I don't 100% know what's going on. Now I'm sixth. <laughs> what's happening in this game? Oh man, oh, right into a wall. Get out of here. Hey, we're fourth again. I don't know what's going on. This game calculates position in a very odd way. I think it's just fully randomized. Okay, here we go. Taking a shortcut, going for it. Going for it! Fourth, somehow? I don't even know where the people I'm supposed to pass are. Six, five, four, three! Oh god. Well, there's kind of like two challenges in this game. One is like just not running out of time, and the other is actually uh, placing, which is hard. Oh, this is the route. This is, that's the route you want to be taking. Oh my god, the computer wiped me out of the last second. Wow. All right, well, uh, what is this game called again? GTI Plus Rally Coat uh, Dar... What, wait, what's it called? Rally Coat Dazur. One of the games of the book, 1,001 video games just play before you die. Good luck actually playing this one. Um, you'll have to go, again, to the darkest corners of the interwebs uh, if you do actually want to follow suit. Um, it's, a, it's a cool little game. It's, I mean, you know, the the gaming uh, preservationist inside me is sad that this game isn't still available, and it just goes to my point of, like, digital-only games are, like, bad news for, you know, the future of gaming. You know, future generations won't be able, you know, like, I, kids nowadays can grow up playing Super Mario Brothers 3, you know, and say what you will about, like, oh yeah, but that's legally available. I think it's only legally available because there were ROMs floating around in the 90s, and Nintendo saw that people still wanted to play Mario 3, and they were like, hey, if we don't capitalize on this, people are just going to play it illegally. So they made legal ways to play it. But 
if ROMs hadn't existed, I'm skeptical that Mario 3 would have been preserved properly, and like, I don't know if as many people would have grown up playing it. So the cool thing I always thought about retro gaming is that it's going to be around forever, and these games have been preserved. Unlike games like this, you know, like, say what you will about it, you, you might hate this game, um, but at the same time, I think we can all agree, like, this should exist somewhere. You should be able to buy this. You, you should be able to get this. You know, you, you shouldn't have to, you know, uh, search around uh, online uh, and, like, modify your PS3 in order to be able to play this game. So, um, yeah, so I think it's a shame that's not actually available. It's a fun little game. Um, it's, you know, in terms of if you could get a hold of this, is this a game you must play before you die? As far as arcade racers go, I think this one is kind of cool. There's lots of, like, jumps and crashes and cool environments. It's not the most destructible game I've ever seen. Like, that goes to, like, you know, uh, Burnout or Fatal Racing or something. Hey, we never saw the bomb passing. I wonder what that was. Um, but it's, it's neat. I wish it had more tracks. I wish it had more modes. And I wish it had more cars. And if it had those things, this would be an amazing game. As it is, it's like a neat little game with a really tight engine. I could see this being fun in arcades. I could have seen this being fun online back in the day. But, uh, yeah. Those are my thoughts. And I don't know. What do you guys think of GTA Club? <laughs> GTA Club. GTI Club here. Is it a game that you actually played back in the day? If you did, please let us know. And what do you guys think about the whole, you know, should we be preserving games for future generations, even if they're not, you know, your favorite game? Um, these digital-only games, you know, should we be doing a better job of preserving them? Um, and are hackers <laughs> and pirates, you know, doing the Lord's work by, like, secretly backing these up? You know, Konami didn't back this game up. You know who did? Uh, PS3 Game Pirates. So, I don't know. That That's, you know... Moral ambiguity. Anyway, guys, uh, sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this. I hope whatever the case is, though, you guys had some fun here today. If you did, don't forget to like the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves, and peace.